Aside from an 11-0 Miami run to kick off the fourth quarter, Denver domination commenced throughout Game 1 of 2023's NBA Finals. It's amazing how there's not a moment that gets too big for Nikola Jokic. In his Finals debut, the best player on earth dropped 27 points, 14 dimes, and 10 boards, joining LeBron as the only players to reach those numbers in a Finals game. The stage also didn't get too bright for Blue Arrow, as Denver's second 27-point-per-game score in these playoffs, the 26-year-old Jamal Murray, dropped a 26-point double-double. Aaron Gordon had it going early, exploding for 10 of his 16 points on the night in the opening quarter. Michael Porter Jr. shot just 2 for 11 from deep, which is scary considering Denver still won by 11, but MPJ was a game-high plus 20. Bruce Brown would give credit to Michael's defense post-game. A huge shout-out to Mike. I've seen a few things of him not being a great defender, but he was great for us tonight. A challenging at the rim, I'm getting blocks, and rebounding, so kudos to him. One of the keys for Denver that I mentioned in my finals preview was MPJ being a butler stopper, and Porter Jr. helped hold Jimmy to merely 13 points. And while MPJ's plus 20 led the game, the opposing butler was a game low, minus 17. Stay tuned to see how Mike Malone's offensive system flowed like water, and how fans in the Mile High watched their team own the moment with every eyeball squared directly on them across the globe. Right quick, just 14.9% of you watching are subscribed, so please help the channel reach 100k. Splash thumbs up like a blue arrow deep range bomb for the YouTube algorithm, and for a follow back, follow at dflowhoops on Instagram and Twitter. If the Nuggets keep up this type of dominance, they could be saying this to the Miami Heat before we know it. In fact, Mr. Chow, Chow, Leslie Chow, showed his Denver loyalty after their Game 1 dub. Go Nuggets, congrats on the NBA Finals Game 1. Toodaloo! Jokic had 10 dimes and 0 turnovers in the first half alone. Let's look at the instances of advanced action which allowed him to do that. This horns high low action sees Aaron roll and Nicola pop. Jamal swing it to Nicola, who floats a picture perfect entry to Aaron with Vincent trying to front. This AI Knicks action has Jokic receive it at the elbow, fake the post spin before shuffling over the DHO to KCP, who fades away from the top of the key. Denver inverts the rolls on this Knicks 54 split playset. Gordon's acting as the 5, Jokic is acting as the 4. It's instead Murray cutting through the Jokic flare as the 2 and Murray catches Vincent sleeping on the back door, Jokic spots him. Horn's two-man action is next, where Murray finds himself wide open at the basket for an easy Jokic entry. Jamal shows off his underrated standing jump with the throwdown. Dive cross motion gets Jokic a clean look in the post. MPJ sets a big body flare for Murray, who Jokic kicks it out to, and it's a wide open Murray spot up. Mike Malone's versatile playbook is ideally unpredictable because it matches Jokic's style of play perfectly. Here was Nikola on how the Nuggets execute their offensive system. How do you think your teammates enhance your passing ability with whether it's Gordon cutting or the two-man game with Jamal, just them playing off of you? I'm playing with Jamal that way a long time ago, and uh, I think everybody kind of like it, but just because they're touching the ball, you know, it's not like you're just catching to it. I think uh, they have opportunity to touch the ball, to do something with it, to take advantage. We, have, we are playing a really nice brand of basketball. On the topic of Malone, here was his message to his guys in the locker room post-game while handing out the defensive player of the game chain to Aaron Gordon. Congratulations, man. Off 1-0 in the NBA Finals. All right, we should feel really good about that. And, and the best thing, and DJ couldn't agree with what you said more, we got a win, and I, I think we can play at a whole nother level. All right, we're up 21 to start that fourth quarter, and they go on an 8-0 run. Kind of let our guard down a little bit. We know we got to play for 48 minutes to go up 2-0 on Sunday night in our building. Uh, I want to give this to Aaron Gordon. Yeah. Okay, <laughs>
Congratulations, we haven't done a damn thing. Yes, sir. Our goal wasn't to win one game in the finals, our goal is to win three more. Yes, sir. Bring it in, man, bring it in. Family on three, one, two, three. Bobby! Charles Barkley seemed to rekindle his friendship with Nuggets mascot, Rocky. Flashback. Scouts, wasn't he? Yeah, he was great. Oh, my. <laughs> Before this series tipped off, MPJ would speak on his journey after facing three different back surgeries, saying, quote, once the job is over, then I'll get the time to really reflect. Are you not happy or you're only half happy or? Still to be happy about jobs not finished. Job finished? No, I don't think so. Okay. Improving to a perfect 9-0 on their home floor, and as Jamal Murray noted, a perfect 4-0 in game ones during 2023's playoffs, the Nuggets set a tone for this finals matchup, revolving around offensive fluidity and defensive force. Jokic's 14 assists set the NBA record for most in a finals debut. Jamal spoke on the Nuggets' defensive awareness and engagement, saying, I think we do a good job just flying around, being on a string. You can't be the number one seed with just offense. That's hard to do. After the game, it was great to see D'Angelo Russell of the Lakers practicing his jumper. In all seriousness, as written by Nuggets writer Joel Rush, Plays like this one display a perfect example of Michael Porter Jr.'s development as he passes up the three, attacks the closeout, and unselfishly dishes to Nikola Jokic to get a better look. From my experience watching him a year or two ago, I think you'd see Porter chuck up about any triple that he got enough space for, but his improved patience over the years has worked to the benefit of Denver's flow. Mike Malone would give much-deserved props to Aaron Gordon, who was stellar on both ends of the floor in this one, saying, I think Aaron Gordon is a prime example of somebody who's truly selfless. He does a lot of the dirty work for us, and a lot of the times, he doesn't get the credit he deserves. To cap it all off, Jokic would reference his daughter's favorite song by pointing to his hand and looking up at his family in the crowd as he always does. It was a special night in the Mile High, as fans in the Rockies are now three W's away from witnessing their team hoist the Larry OB and achieve the ultimate glory. As John ja Morant would say, it's almost for basketball fans in Denver, as your boy D Flo would say, a potential dynasty could be looming for this special Nuggets ball club. What stood out most in game one in your opinion? Let me know down below in the comments. This was D Flo, and I'll see you next video.